This is Hackney Town Hall, built in 1937, refurbished into its original grandeur in 2010. Please come in and join me on a tour of the premises. Behind me is the Mayor's office. The Mayor is the leader of the council in Hackney and in his office, and he's a little bit busy at the moment, a lot of the important decisions are made and documents are read and written. In 1855, Hackney was part of the church's administrative areas, but after that, it became its own secular district. Along the corridors of the town hall, are portraits of my distinguished predecessors, some of them mayors and some of them speakers, and probably the most famous amongst them is Herbert Morrison, who was mayor in 1920 to 1921. He was a major figure in London local government at the time and was one of the pioneers of council housing and subsequently was in Attlee's Labour government. And he was also an ardent socialist, so on his picture, he actually wasn't wearing a chain, it had to be painted on afterwards. In the early part of the 20th century, you could distinguish the photos of the various mayors from what they were wearing. The Conservatives tended to wear the robes and the chains of office and even sometimes carried a sword. Thankfully, they didn't use it. The more progressives tended to wear a suit uh, and not have all of the accessories. These days we all tend to wear the robes because we are playing a role and when we go to schools, particularly the children like to see us in our full outfit. We are now in the Bridgetown bar of the town hall, a beautiful art deco room where some functions are held but uh, councillors aren't here very often because of course we're very busy doing work on behalf of the community. It is a beautiful room and we occasionally have charitable events here as well. We are now in the assembly rooms of the town hall, very large, very spacious. And these rooms are used for parties, receptions and for major civic occasions. They're also of a similar style art deco. This corridor shows the more contemporary mayors and speakers uh, for a wide range of ethnicities and genders and they represent the very diverse borough we have in Hackney today. These are the main committee rooms of the town hall with beautiful wood panelling. This is where the cabinet meets and many committees of the council. We also have hidden in alcoves some televisions and technological equipment so that we can receive presentations and be up to date. This is the balcony of the town hall and if we ever have a football team that wins the FA Cup or any other silverware, the speaker will be out there welcoming the team back. Uh, we haven't quite reached that level yet but we do have a brilliant women's team and also a couple of other teams uh, many of whom play on Hackney Marshes, which is amongst the largest set of playing fields in Europe. This is the council chamber, where the magic of democracy takes place. We have 57 elected councillors and an elected mayor, and this is where debates take place. A lot of the work prior to the debates is done in committee or by cabinet but this is where people are able to put their views and also deputations of citizens are able to come and express themselves to all members of the council. By each door, we have no's, which is for no, and a's for yes. And in days of yore, members had to actually walk through a door to cast their vote. These days, voting is either electronically or by hand. This is the mace which is the symbol of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's royal authority locally, and it's placed in this position before all council meetings. The mace was forged in 1901, but the motif of the current hackney with the three boroughs that came together in the mid-1960s is put here. This is the atrium at the centre 
the core of the town hall, where a number of weddings and receptions take place. This part of the building was upgraded and modernised about 12 years ago when the building was renovated and is now a beautiful area which is highly suitable for a wide range of events. Here are the Town Hall Vaults Museum. Here we have the history of all the three boroughs that came together to create contemporary Hackney and many of the interesting stories of how democracy evolved in the area and some iconic costumes and some of the old maces. We do have regular escorted visits here and we're right at the base of the town hall. We're now back in the speaker's parlour with its beautiful wood panelling. This is the room we hold receptions and functions in. Uh, and we also have mementos from many of the locations we're twinned with, including Gottingham in Germany, Haifa in Israel, Seren in France, Krasnyo Preznensky district of Russia, St George's in Grenada and Barbados. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of the town hall. Thank you for watching and goodbye.